And we're just a few miles from downtown of Circle City. Here are your starting lineups, all upperclassmen for Georgia Tech with the three seniors and two juniors. This is all presented by Wendy's, your starting lineups. Parham steps in into the starting lineup for Moses Wright. You look at Loyola Chicago, and they have four senior starters. Braden Norris, a sophomore. Crutwig, the only Rambler to average in double figures. And he made third team All-America, which even his coach Porter Moser says that's an unbelievable feat for Loyola to get one of their players to be recognized at that level nationally. And there he is, Porter in his 10th year, having had that Final Four experience of 2018. And this will be their first game in the tournament since making it down to San Antonio. You see Alvarado wearing number five, wearing the Moses Wright jersey number instead of his usual number 10. And we're underway. Billy Raftery, here we go. <laughs> and Jim Nance right now, Loyola goes. The Ramblers, the little man, man little ball screen. Georgia Tech coming off the ASC, ACC tournament title, championship win against Florida State. And Alvarado hits the turnaround jumper. Did you see him looking at us, by the way? I I, I've never met him. I, I, like, I'm here to show you something. They start with a little 1-3-1. It's a little bit of a junkie. They move around, gets a 2-3. Can be confusing. You have that effect on people, Rap. Right? <laughs> he wants to, make sure, wants to make sure you're seeing his action early. Uh, it is stifling. You got to rely on individual ability, get the cracks, pass well. Williams is deep, and he can make that. And inside the rebound, up with it. Ubuak is fouled. And Alvarado coming right down on the first possession of this game. And making a little statement. Uh, he may miss his partner, but certainly not the game. With this kid, just look at it. That's that's for you. He's I, I heard about that you. That he, you. He wants to go to the Masters. That's, that's why he's looking up here. <laughs> well, it's a short trip for him. 150 <laughs> miles. There's a three-point shot. You're right, Williams. He can hit him from the outside. He is a tough kid. Great defender as well. I believe he's going to be on the bow, who can really mix his game up. Range drive. Southpaw stick. Not a good look here. Yeah, it's a turnover. This Loyola defense, they uh, lead the nation in scoring defense, only giving up 55 points a game. They are stifling. Always in the right spot. Communicate beautifully. This kid knows how to play. Doesn't turn it over. Oh, oh right. Rap. God forbid me, Sister Jean. <laughs> She's, uh, <laughs> she's looking down at me. Yes, she is right now. Josh Pastner, his fifth year, a rebuild here. When he interviewed for the job at the Final Four in Houston in 2016, he told those that were talking to him, this is not a three or four year turnaround. It's not six or seven, though. It's five to get me to the tournament. This is year five. And they've turned it over for a second straight trip. Block with the big hands, made himself bigger. He really moves the ball. And it doesn't stick. Nice little lead. Trotwick able to save it. Led a little too much. Three-point shot is long for Norris. And Tech comes out with it. Quick step into the paint. What a move it is. Bye-bye. Oh, goodness. A little blow by. Yeah. Bubba says, hey, I've got to step up today. i got to come in for Moses and do something. Now they are playing awfully small, so you're going to see a lot of that drive game. Clemens can really shoot it, too. Nice lead pass. Look at the help by the foul. Oh, they were all over, denying Trutwick. And they get the takeaway. Now DeVoe for the top of the key. Yes. He can shoot it. They are playing for Two situations, their partner, Moses Wright, and for themselves, too. Okay, a quick seven for Georgia Tech against a team that makes every point hard earned on a game-to-game -game basis. Nice pass, and this kid can drill him. Goodness. Off with the shot was Clemens. Open middle, see a lot of open areas to drive it. But just an ISO with the vote. Nice help by Clemens. He found an open Alvarado. All Ramblers underneath. 
Straight up man this trip on the miss. Want to get Krupwig into the game, and he's fouled from behind by Moore. He's got that large body, can really seal his guy. Such a height difference, weight differential. Big, strong, tough kid who really knows the game. Point forward or point center mentality. Sub coming in for Loyola, it's Tate Hall. A senior from here in the state of Indiana, from Greenfield, Indiana. Yeah, with the University of Indianapolis, he can shoot it. Southpaw stick from deep. Crockwood wanted it right back. There's a little ball screen. They've taken nothing but threes to this point. Four attempts, now a two. And it rattles out. Well, Tips out by Crockwood. Small change. Usher sure with the grab. Pretty good pace, would you say? I think it's not All the right. pace that Oil was looking no. for. No, they got to control this game, this tempo. Well, it sounds like a big crowd here, huh? It does. I mean, it's much more intense than the first game that took place here. Well, Chicago just a little car ride down. Georgia Tech's got a nice turnout, too. He bounces himself into position. Oh, they are scrambling defensively. Yeah, they are. Georgia That's Tech forces another turnover. Bumpy start for the Ramblers. Georgia Tech. Kind of like what it's doing so far. Watch live games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. You can watch now at NCAA.com slash March Madness or download the app today. Kennedy on the floor for Loyola. Really a spirited, talented kid. Alvarado gives it up quickly. To Palm. He's already driven in once for a basket. Nice back cut. Beautiful. To oh, an interior pass to Usher for the basket. Once again, they're not limited or inhibited with a postman. You will see a lot of that. Step and go. Now you see no points in over three and a half minutes. They've had five consecutive empty trips. Only one for five from the field with three turnovers. Josh Pastor doing a Luke on the second impression on the sideline. He's jumping up and down, moving around. The body language is almost identical to Louis. <laughs> right there. Has to put up the shot. What a great defensive set. And he's holding them down a little bit, run their half court stuff. Thrown away from his days at Arizona. In the lane and a foul first. Those days at Arizona when he was a player and assistant coach as well for Lute Olson. They won the championship in 97 here in Indianapolis. And look at that action to Usher as the Yellow Jackets are operating at a high level on both ends of the floor, Raph. Uh, very efficient. The defense is mystifying if you haven't seen it either. A little pin down and a step and go. Side to side. This kid's got some game, by the way. Hey. As you can top. see right there, DeVoe. He was the MVP of the ACC tournament last week. Uh, they're going to force him to put it on the deck because they know he can shoot that deep shot. He's really got an excellent handle. Once again, look at the 1-3-1 one, one look, Jim. Now they switch. It's almost like a 2-3. Given the Ramblers fits at this end of the floor, and on the floor is Alvarado. Oh. <laughs> and we got a tie-up. It'll stay at this end off the arrow. Jose Alvarado got his hand on that ball and then dove. He doesn't only steal the ball, he steals it aggressively. Yeah. He doesn't leave anything up for grabs. He averages three steals a game. It's incredible. And had five in the uh, ACC final against Florida State, five steals. He reminds me of Muggsy Bogues. If he's behind you, say goodnight. Well, he's got the great hands, anticipation. He loves the game. He suits it. How about how emotional he was when they won that championship uh -huh. last Sunday? Just meant so much to him. Been playing quickly, a little hold. We're in a low box area, got caught on the duck in. 
by Cloudy. They got to change the pace a little bit, Loyola. Get the touch on the box. He's the influential player out there, Crutley. Well, that's a big one because that's an early second on Moore, who has done a good job otherwise of defending Crutwig and keeping him away from doing what he's been doing so well for four years. And they bring Howard in, he really doesn't play a whole lot. Five or six minutes, only gets one point a game. This one out. Right, they got to do a lot of jumbling around. Nice steal by the bow. Oh, and here they go. The bow for two more. They are giving Loyola fits at the offensive end. And Josh is giving everybody fits out in the middle of the court. He's applauding everybody. Maybe here's our broadcast as well. <laughs> but DeVoe with the pilfer jumps the passing lane. Savvy move at the rim. Boy, are they confusing Loyola. Heck of a start at a tech in Atlanta. How about that one? We saw Ohio State in the Big Ten championship game last week. Game that went to overtime before Illinois won, and they are in big time trouble. A little three foot of court press. They're really stepping it up. Forcing Little to be anxious, out of sorts. And uncomfortable. Usually they're dictating everything yeah. in the pace. Probably doubled up quickly. Kafis on the floor as well. Right now. Well, they just can't run anything right now. From the corner. Oh, the three beats the buzzer. Norris. Good player. Really knows how to play. Yeah, he put up 20 in the Missouri Valley Conference tournament final. Sophomore from Hilliard, Ohio. He shoots those three. Look at this back screen. Oh. And goal. Alvarado. To Usher. <laughs> he ushered him to the 10. Yes, he did. That basket a moment ago by Norris broke nearly a six minute spell for Loyola. And that without a basket. Them. This is what they wanted right there to Krupwick. Jim, you're mentioning the basket opened up things for that dump down to Krupwick. You got to play him honest out deep. Colorado. Really a terrific point guard. A little, little drop step to his right shoulder. This is where it starts for Loyola. Sees control of the game, make them a little impatient. And the rebound comes out to Clements. Here's another three. Yes, by Williamson. Oh, they don't mind playing quickly, huh? You get an open look, take it. Otherwise, they run their half-court set. Sister Jean has something to cheer about. Couple of threes by the Ramblers, and a bucket down low by Crudwick. Coming out of that last timeout, and there's a little hand check foul called on Norris. I'm talking about Alvarado taking over the low, certainly two. So a good spurt. During that segment, Loyola Chicago. A 2 1 2 set out of the gate. Well guarded. Parham trying to drive it. Gives it up. High bounce pass. It worked. And just in time. Just cutting at the appropriate time. And Cameron Crutton unable to negate at the rim. Basket by Moore, who returns to the floor with two fouls. Interesting, Billy, just nine minutes into the game. They didn't sit him for long with the two. They're trying to run a ball screen and they're probably to the box as well. They're late in the shot clock. Look how far they are out. And a little reach in. Not a typical Jose Alvarado kind of a shot, but just being in the right spot, get yourself available, dribble drive. We just really can't react twice. Snuffed it out the first time, couldn't cover the second. Foul on Alvarado, number one. Loyola having won 17 of its last 18 games, again, including the conference tournament championship. Regular season and conference championship, beating Drake in that final. Drake a winner last night in the first four. There's the turnaround. It's a little too strong by Hall. And they're just playing free now. They're really nothing by design. Really reacting to the abilities of the players against this matchup, which is a good idea, I think. You can't format it. 
Bow. Boy, this kid really knows how to score. Oh, and he just put it up wildly. Ended up with a bad shot for him. It's just their third miss from the field, eight of 11. Jim, the speed out here defensively is incredible. Yeah, they're adjusting okay. so quickly, but there's Goats Williamson blowing by him. Well, Crutwick did the right thing, got out of the way, gave that open lane to the 10. Williamson and Crutwick, the two holdovers from Coach Porter Moser's fairy tale ride to San Antonio in 2018. Really not running much. It's all individual. Look at the hesitate blow by the lefty. Getting to the rim. Boy, he is a tough out. Picking up right where he left off in Greensboro. As the ACC tournament MVP with nine. Just ten and a half minutes into this game. Nice look. Probably back it in. Yeah. Moore's got the two fouls and he throws it right in the arms of Usher. He wrote, hit him in the Adams apple. <laughs> yep. He wasn't expecting it. Hopefully he's okay. Ooh, a foul by Usher. Ooh. Those kind of fouls. Get the usher receipt. Whew. That's his second. Mm -hmm. Unbelievably delicious Coca-Cola cherry vanilla. Something this good should be out of bounds, but it isn't. Usher a little bit annoyed, but you know, by the way, I thought he was standing still. Maybe he threw the shoulder in there. Talk about getting hit in the Adam's apple. <laughs> was that? Big blow right there. Uh, pounded that earlier hit. That's the soft spot you got to get to after ball movement. You can shoot it out there. Here's the three. Norris Long with it, but the offensive glass is hit, and Oguak able to convert. Uh, we mentioned the ability off the bench of Kennedy. He can be electrifying. Big lift off the pines. Well, you got to contain your own with this lineup right now. Tech. And a traveling call. The start of it. Get some more time. Gets about 12 a game. But uh, the ability to offensive rebound. Nice little bounce pass to finish big time. But all set up by Kennedy's pursuit. So Usher on the floor with two. Moore on the floor with two. A team that's already thin. Having lost its star, Moses Wright, the ACC Player of the Year. And Jim Jacob, Jacob Hudson on the floor now and, and, and talking to Porter. He feels this kid has really made quantum leaps in his ability, using him a little bit more. And right away, they go right to him. Got blocked. Oh, it was quite a play there to prevent him from going up with it. Rodney Howard driving all the way as Usher spins out of Guac with the quick outlet. A pretty good defensive reaction here. Yeah, this kid right here with the ball. He is coming on. His family's got unbelievable ties to Butler. Both of his parents were athletes here at Butler. His mom was a decorated volleyball player who played all of her matches on the floor here at Hinkle. Off the glass, no. Once again, who's there? Kennedy with the offensive rebound. Big time spurt. Boy, did he jump to the ball because there were three yellow jackets around it. Hot start by Pazner and company. But Crutwig and Loyola has rallied back. Four point lead, Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech up 19 15 and Seven of the nine baskets have come in the paint for the Yellow Jackets. Well, off the dribble drive too, Jim. Quite a few of them, particularly DeVoe. Ramblers inbounded. They were down 13-3 early. Starting to get a little bit of a feel on the flow at the offensive end. Playing with that public now, it's got to be a perimeter-oriented game. Block lost it. Well defended. 
Howard again has made a couple of fine defensive plays, and now this time it was Studevant. Studevant is the one to force that. What a pretty good job keeping Alvarado out of the set here. Sturdivant on this end of the floor. He ah, he walked. He was fortunate earlier with that behind the back dribble. Almost had it stolen. Trying to do a little bit too much. He gets a little roller skatey. We've always done that a little later in the evening. <laughs> now Georgia Tech brings it back to Vaux. Josh really working that sideline. He's going to lose a few pounds today. There's a young age, what, 29? He places John Calipari at Memphis. Yeah, he's seen both sides of taking over a program. Right. Plays to Coach Cal. Nice underneath. Oh, what an effort by Hall. How tough. Crutwick has returned. Able to squeeze it out of there before getting a tie up. Oh, and a slippery floor it is. Inside, he's wide open. Woo! They feed it to Kennedy. Williamson with the find. Woo! Great vision. Bring it back to two. 14 to six stretch. A little small change by Kennedy at the other end. A little slippage, and you pay mightily. What a terrific find. Big time delivery at the 10. By a gorgeous delivery. Kennedy dunks at one end, collects his first foul at the other. Ohio State inside four minutes to go. Up one on Oral Roberts and a two versus 15 seed matchup over on CBS. Really good defense here, but better offense. Oh, stood him up pretty good, but Usher able to knock it down. Usher with his third basket of the game. That's their first hoop for the Yellow Jackets in four minutes. A nice read by him. He's got a couple of inches on Hall. They do a nice job getting into that foul line and distributing. Clemens, excellent shooter, comes up empty. Yeah, I had a wonderful look. It's all they could have asked for. Well, at least the guy that hasn't been able to get going because of excellent defense. Our sign Alvarado now. They have been switching on and off to him. To Bo, who leads Tech with nine already. Nice help by Nars. Alvarado steps in and gives it up. Back inside the paint, that's more. And this is going to stay right at this end of the floor. See why Snowpiercer is one of Cable's best shows. You can catch up now on demand or the Watch TNT app, and don't miss the two hour season finale, March 29th at 9, 8 central on TNT. Back onto the floor again is Capus. Usher. Nice help. Crutwick. Look at this balance, though. Williamson has tipped out by Alvarado. How about him? He's looking for a double tick. He may be right. They're going the other way. I don't know. Overruled. But just a great hustle play. This kid never gives up on anything. I'll tell you what, he was right. It did touch Clemens. It was a double tick. But it's going to stay, though. Paul says it's Loyola ball. Should have gone the other way. Absolutely. The public, they're on him quickly. Back outside. Capus. Really good offense, though. Inside out. In that open look. With a difference for Georgia Tech, too. Can't go through the big guy. Nice little back cut because of the open middle. The aforementioned Moses not here, but why not? Part the C with that time. <laughs> Parham with his second basket. Great success going right there to that soft spot. 
Under four minutes to go in the first half. Here's Norris. Got the three. Coach's son. Transfer from Oakland. Buddy heading guard. Really doing a good job keeping Alvarado out of a situation where he can dominate. Alvarado scored on the first possession of the game and hasn't made a basket since. That's Usher. Oh, that will be his third. Wow. Gamble with him. Third on Usher, who's having a big game otherwise. Tech by three. And now thrilling drives presented by Nissan. Pretty good in the open floor, jump the passing lane, finish at the rim. Lavoe's got a great handle, can go either way for a southpaw. He can light you up from deep. Three of the four field goals by DeVoe. Layups. Top scorer in the game with nine. There's Bobby Cremens. He's had a busy couple of days. He was at Purdue last night. The Appalachian State. Yeah. Carolyn alongside of him. Of course, he took 10 Georgia Tech teams to the NCAA tournament during his great tenure. He never had guards, though. No, no. <laughs> oh, there was that guy, though, in 1990. There's another one who's in the bu building here today. Stephon Marbury, Mark Price, you name them. Yeah. He knew where to go. He did. Yeah, that Final Four team out in Denver in 90 and again 10 times to the NCAA tournament. Automatic switch on the cut. A kick by Crowick. Nice. Speaking design. of Mark Price. How about that? What a great player. I love watching him with the Cavs. Does he age? Yeah, not at all. It's like you. His brothers alongside him, they tell us, Brent, who went to Oklahoma. And you know, they were great singers as a family. Mm. By the way, I didn't hire them for my events, but uh, <laughs> they've got a great reputation. The Price Brother duo. Moore. He walked. Got away with it. That's Williamson good. clears. Loyola can take the lead for the first time since 3-2. They're able to regain the control of this one after a really tough start. A straight up man. This brings Crutwick into the game. And the Ramblers move ahead by one. Yeah, they really didn't challenge that pass. First lead since the opening minutes after a Williamson triple. Uh, you knew they were going to make a run. Just don't try and do it all on your own. Turnaround shot. Off the rim, and again, it's Krupwick. Don't force it if you take it. Nice back cut. Williamson oh. somehow suspends and delivers. Boy, Norris made eye contact. Woo! What a big time delivery. As gritty a comeback as that growling look by Norris. A nine point run. And switching those little slip screens. Nice Behind pass. the back, Moore can't convert, and it's Norris who drops down to get the rebound. And they're off and running. Nice pass. Crowley for two more. Well, the big fella, he's not what you'd call a speed demon. <laughs> but his overdrive is extremely effective at the rim. Great look and finish. Get those puppies up and down, big guy. Coming up on AT&T at the half, scores and highlights, the latest NCAA tournament news, all coming up on AT&T at the half. Now, Loyal's really done a good job on Alvarado and a good job analyzing the matchup, forced him into man. Uh, not a good look here. Cartland's the one that comes away with it. Well, they put their personality on this last 10 minutes, haven't they? Coming back from 10 down. He's a great passer, too. Probably. That's what makes him dangerous. Look at that bullet. He wants it back, Crubwick. Clemens gets it to Crubwick. Jumper oh, away short. Short arm that one. Loyal with five straight defensive stops as we move under a minute. 
They really don't have someone to go to in that low post area, so it's only going to be manufactured with dribble and individual ability. Howard with seven to shoot. Nice screen. DeVoe. Stuck. Howard. Got it. He Good made, shot. He got available. Smart. Rodney Howard, the sophomore transfer from Georgia. And now the Ramblers can work it pretty far down. Got to go through Crumpwick. Looked like it, didn't call it. Look and at that. that bounces in for Kennedy. How about that control? Steps well, in that pivot foot. Here with three seconds. I only have 14 fouls. They launch the shot off the rim. And we reach halftime. And what a stretch to close this out. A 24 to 10 run, including 13 to 2. That's the end of the first half with the score. Loyola 30, Georgia Tech 25. We'll send you to AT&T at the half after these messages. You're watching the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. Let's hear from Tracy what she learned at halftime. Well, thanks a lot, Jim. I spoke with Josh Pastner and I asked him, what do they need to get back to doing? And he said, they need to loosen up a little bit and they need to hit some of their three-point shots. And he talked about the offensive rebounding by Loyola. He said five offensive rebounds to seven points. We got to correct that. And a big concern is certainly depth. No Moses Wright, some foul trouble. He doesn't play a lot of guys to begin with. But he said we've faced adversity all year long. And we'll bounce back here, Jim. All right, we begin the second half. Uh, shocking result in the last couple of minutes with Oral Roberts knocking out the two seed Ohio State. A 15 over a two for just the ninth time in the history of the tournament. It's already been a wild start with that result. A couple of overtime games over last night and today. And there's Alvarado drawing the foul. Boy, what a nice job with the split of the ball screen. They didn't tidy it up and connect. And this kid wisely just blows by and gets to the rim. He has been quiet for him. They've done a nice job switching behind the basketball. They need him to get involved. And this is the first free throw attempt of the game for Georgia Tech. Loyola attempted only two in the first half. That's why the game moved so rapidly. Straight up man. Disdaining the matchup. Let me bring it back. Loyola got accustomed to it and handle it. Nice entry. The little heart. Rubwick, that's his shot. Georgia Tech got off to an explosive start at the beginning of this game. Usher gets the soft roll. They're up 13 to 3 and were dictating at both ends before Loyola reversed the script. Usher really doing a nice job with those three fouls avoiding the try. Here's the matchup after the make. Clemens. Boy, goodness, he is such a spot on shooter. He's had a number of opportunities. Clean. Clemens 0 for 3 from the field, all of them beyond the arc. And there's that automatic switch. Moore tempting him to take the shot, and he does. Scouting. Well, I'm going to beat you there and inside. Nice little high low cut, which so good. Nice help. And they tie him up. And more really excellent defense with DeVoe. Stays at this end. But well, they really rallied to the basketball. They've had ample opportunities with this particular play. They're not harassing the pass to the post. And a very fortunate Cutwick was unable to free himself. There's Williamson. Shooter. Oh, yeah. Now with 13. That's that little dribble drive replace. Norris on the money. Second team, all Missouri Valley. He and Krutwig, the winningest senior class of all time with 97 wins 
in Loyola's history. And Arch really knows how to run a team and get the right people involved. Alvarado. Nice pass. Whip around pass. Oh, what a move by Usher again. Uh, big time ticker on number five. I give it up on a play. Usher now with 10 for the game. Five of seven from the field. Clements, he's into the paint. He got a block for the call. Contact. That's part of America's play now. The screen, the dribble handoff. But how about this clever? Draws everybody. Nice looking find. And a good dive. Usher really good with some really good minutes early. Look at the balance. The electrifying speed. The little dish with a little pizzazz. That was the third foul at the other end on Moore. You can watch live games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Watch now at NCAA.com slash March Madness or download the app today. Limits one of two and tap that Williamson able to chase it out. He got tripped. Parham's going to be called for it. I just love the effort, don't you? Oh, yeah. Uh, just leaving it all. Why not? Just not even to track it down, but Cutwood does that beautifully. A little slap back, give an opportunity. Yeah, no question about the foul. Real good hustle played up. Asner takes more out of the game with the three fouls. He's done many decisions to make on that side. A little open look again. Clem, nobody covered him. Tapped up once. On the floor. Oh, how about the hustle by Williamson? He's driving in, and he gets a chance to shoot free throws. How about him? The other end, he saved the ball. They got the foul. Came back. An open look by Clemens. Not giving up on it at all. Well, he did stay around four years. Without contributing. Williamson, the defensive player of the year, which is all about effort, what you were speaking of, Billy, in the Missouri Valley Conference. He learned all these skills. If you talk to Porter Moser when he was a freshman, Ben Richardson was a senior. And he passed it on to Lucas. That ability to appreciate great defense. He was the best, voted best in the conference this year. Uh, they got a tradition now. Handed on team to team, player to player. Mm. Porter, Rick Majerus, his old pal, told him a lot about the game. And Usher, very lucky here as Norris stepped in, thought he picked it up. That was a dangerous moment yeah. because Usher has three fouls. Yeah, exactly. That's what they were trying to do in Deucem. Was a little shot, inadvertent shot to the face. Yeah, I think that was the right call, don't you? Yes, I do. A little bit late. This Porter played at Creighton, went to Illinois State, and stayed in Chicago. He can shoot at the ball. Yeah, Porter raised in Naperville, and he's been so committed. He's had many opportunities after the great things he's done. But loyal to this program, Williamson. Look who's Crockett there. Got to it. Gives him extra possessions, that kid. Is clear out. If you help, he finds. He's got Howard on his back. He keeps the bounce until you make a decision. That is the definition right there of Cameron Crutwick. I should have grown a mustache. <laughs> Way to help my game. He's a wise old owl, though, isn't he? Yes. Clever. Old school, as they say. Yeah. Plays beneath the rim. Largest lead of the game for the Ramblers, but it's down to five as Usher hits another shot. How about this kid? USC's contribution to Atlanta and Georgia Tech. Pretty good. Some old time religion. Rock and roll. Play that harmonica. Sing your song, big fella. <laughs> well, you know what that means. A lot of brackets have been completely busted <laughs> as the Summit League Tournament champions, Oral Roberts, the Golden Eagles, advance to take on Florida Sunday in the second round, the round of 32. I take it you're out already, huh? Uh, you, you have that right. I should have known better. That's an in the low post. They're happy with his improvement. It's Norris. Thought about it, goes outside instead. And they had a good look there from Hall. Yes, 
The winner of this one to face Illinois, the number one seed in this bracket on Sunday. A blowout winner earlier today against Drexel. Nice elbow entry. He can elevate now over Norris. He knows it. Oh, you're not kidding. Yeah. This kid's playing terrific basketball. They always need somebody to step up, particularly when you lose your mainstay player of the year in the ACC. Boy, that is a tough obstacle to overcome. It's the sixth straight game he's been in double figures scoring. He's got now 14 for the game. Uh, just telling Josh telling us how crushed they all were when they got the news. Their mainstay wouldn't be here. Where they have responded. Nice entry. Hall. Alvarado trying to stop him. Spin nice around. Hand. Oh, and it was again a sure. How about this kid? When did you need a good seat in the house? Where's the usher? And now AT&T 5G takes us above the rim for one of the best plays of the day. Uh, usher with the nice back cut. How about Howard with the bump at the elbow? A little lob. Send it in. And boy, has he been terrific. All ends of the floor. Playing with limitations with foul problems, but splendid effort. Scored the Yellow Jackets last eight. And that little backdoor lob did not sit well with Porter Moser, as you saw going to the break. Alvarado. Got it underneath. What a pass, huh? And Moore able to finish. That was threaded. There wasn't much room for that. He just teases the big guy and he makes a move forward, finds his partner. Last six to Tech. is giving them a little more trouble because they went away from it. The man, you are comfortable against the man, but on the other end, number five, maybe not your old program, but your new program, Jose Alvarado playing for his partner. Nice little dish, freezes the D and a find, and what a great feel this kid. Christ the King, great program in Queens. Of course, he's from Brooklyn. Alvarado's third assist has not turned it over. Tech got the ball on the held ball arrow. Williams can really dog a guy. There he is from outside, Alvarado. He was dishing, and now he's swishing. <laughs> and Georgia Tech has taken the lead. There are a lot of the great players in the country with big time tickers, Jim. I don't know if they can match this little guy. Yeah, I'm telling you, Woo! hard to deny. His first basket since. 18 seconds into the game. It's a 9 nothing run for Georgia Tech over the last two and a half minutes. Raft to regain the lead. Yeah, executing on the offensive end, but more importantly, mystifying. The Chiefs in the game now because he can make it three. They are struggling once again to get some matchup. Good things happen when this guy touches it, though. Here's Norris. Capus shielded, helped by Crutwick. Williams is going to drive in, lost control, and it's going the other way. Well, what a scrambling set defensively that was. Well, Usher looks like he got hurt holding his jaw. Crutwick must have inadvertently hit him because he patted him on the back. It is that left arm of Crutwick. Good play on though. Usher's been knocked around a couple of times in the head area. Nice pass to Moore. Now this time Williamson pulls it down. Got to finish that. Now Crutwick to Clements. He's got open space. Norris will take the three. Just what they need him. How about that? They had turned it over the last three trips. They come back, respond with the three to take the lead. Almost a four minute drought without a basket before that one. Alvarado. And he just knows, goodness, time and space, how we can get rid of it against the bigs. Clever. Pretty cool gesture, Raph wearing. Moses Wright's number. 
Doesn't surprise you though. Look at this defense though. Really racking. Getting up on Norris. Parham able to make the steal. Pass. Oh, alone. How about that? Quick hitting and the hammer to boot. Tech with the hot start to the second half. Like the hot start they had at the beginning of the game. Now this one you got to really be intelligent. No bad shot, no turnover, get back in the game. Norris taps it as he lost control. Papis over to Clemens. And Clemens able at last. You can tell by that rotation how good a shooter this kid is. Yeah. He's had some really good looks. It come is up empty. Perfect spin on that ball. Yeah. Almost a steal by Capus. Usher, though, got away from him. Nice hands by Williamson. Williamson, Alvarado defending. And which way will this go? It's going to be on Alvarado. Uh, uh, pretty good coordination by the officials, though. Georgia Tech just suffered his first turnover in the second half. We are tied. Uh, the ability to share the basketball, really solid movement uh, to counter the excellent defense, uh, the extra pass, the extra look, and why not? Get those puppies organized. Kid who can really knock them down. And this was a bang, bang play. And I think it was the right call. However, they claim they gave him a flop on it. I don't see that. I just thought it was one of those bang, bangers. And uh, take your choice. The referees deliberated quite a while. Lequat gets it out. Now Williamson on the wing. He hits it. Same spot. Pretty high level right now, isn't it? Yeah, and a great response again by the Ramblers after Georgia Tech blitzed at the start of a half. Really just like a motion kind of an offense. At the end, usually a dribble and fine. Harm. There it is. Splits. Dishes charged outside the area there, sort of committed a little bit early. And Clemens held his ground. Yeah, he sure did. Bubba Parr. And right here, this is what they've been doing at the end of their sequence. And I think he was there and set, and a good call. That's the third foul on Parham. A straight up man again. They do this a little bit, and then the wrinkle of the matchup. Nice pass. Oh, it's <laughs> finished somehow. But here, a guac. It was hard to get control of that. It was a little bit mistimed on the jump, but it did a fabulous job of being able to make the basket. Well, just getting turned and then catching. Now the Ramblers by five after they had surrendered the lead. Sort of trying to post up here. Wow. He is hammered on the side. And the foul call on Sturdivant. Uh, just really a nice job with this little roll. Get to the spot. And as you mentioned, they're pretty good coordination here to catch it. A little more speed in the center spot yeah. than Cameron. A nice dive to the tip. It looked a little more graceful on the replay than it did live. Well done. And Usher now will sit again. He played a long time there without picking up another. He's got three fouls. And they've been putting ice on that chin for him as well. Yeah. Nice defense again here. The nudge. Jose Alvarado. He had the pull up, I thought. Williamson drove in and able to score with a couple of. Yellow Jackets all around. I think Alvarado is starting to start, starting to reaction, getting others involved. A 10 nothing run after giving up the five point half time lead and start of that. How confident is this kid? Even he makes a mistake, comes back and counters. Here's Williamson. It's already got a season high with 19. Unable to add three more. Watch out. He'll attack. Yes, he will, and he'll finish. Goodness. 
Look at him right back defensively. What a pleasure to watch him. Talk about working hard, leaving it all out there. This kid certainly does. Alvarado now with 10 on the game. Eight in the second half. Watch Clemens in the far corner. There he is. He's got the shot now. And draws it. Can't leave alone. Can't speculate on others. That kid with time and distance. Forget about it. The ACC tournament champions, Georgia Tech. Down six. The foe hasn't gotten the touch the last few times. Had to get him involved. Only loyal underneath. Norse, he'll take off. He's stuck for a moment. Capus. And that's out of bounds. It'll go to Georgia Tech as we reach the under eight break. Another tight one at Hinkle with Loyola six in front. And now power behind the numbers presented by Powerade. It's all about Lucas Williamson. He set a season high with 19 for the way he shoots his stroke. You would think he would have might have done that a time or two. Well, people like you pigeonhole him as a defender. <laughs> he can do some other things, though. A really solid performer both ends. <laughs> takes what the D gives, spreads here, gets them organized, drills it. Beautiful trajectory as well. Solid contributor, both ends. Now, Georgia Tech. A push. Alvarado was knocked down. He's hurt too. Well, he landed awkwardly, bracing himself on that left wrist. What a skin burn, I think, on that left hand. Here's Georgia Tech ramp. Did you see the foul? Look, walk. That's the only way he could have stopped him. Of course, with his size, you should have let him go, let him release, and then the gate. Oh, look at this kid take hey. over. Put it up with the left hand. Oguak able to pull it down. Georgia Tech does not have a single offensive rebound in this game. Amazing. They've shot 57%, so they haven't had that many misses. 17 misses, but they haven't picked up a second chance yet. Hard to believe. Nice replace here. Five to shoot. In traffic. He was on the line and was down to two on the shot clock. So that's a big break for Loyola. And Jim, but to clarify, Norris had the flop earlier. Uh, I had on that block charge what they had given it to Alvarado. So that could be a point Gene Sturator pointed out to us during the commercial. Uh, so that could be a major issue come stretch time. Yeah, it was what had happened at the other end of the floor just before that. Now two to shoot. Williamson lobs it outside. It. Hall gets the feet set. Almost banked it in. A big rebound too by Parham. Sturdy was being confident attacking. Mentioned him only in about 12 minutes a game. He played the last 14 minutes of that AFC ACC championship yeah. game against Florida State, so he was doing good things. And now, out to Moore. He's going to challenge Crutwick. And he's going to score off the glass. So they are playing, leaving it all out. Well, just reaching back. Talk about kids being dedicated to their teammate and the cause. It's right out. Williamson gets around him, goes opposite side, and now has 21 on the game. Crutwick with that big body. Just screened it off. Entree to the 10. 21 points, five rebounds, three assists. Huge game for the senior. Alvarado looks for another lane. Tough shot short. Snaps the outlet to Williamson. Senior to senior. Williamson driving in. Look at the hustle. By Hall. Didn't give up on the play. What an outlet by the big fella. Flex cut, pin down. 
Defoe going the other way. Well, just a terrific job on the kick out. Nice step in on the defensive end to pick up the charge. But this is the outlet. But look at all the blue shirts go to the rim. And two whites haul in the right spot. Didn't give up on the play. And here's that little bang banger. Feet set. Plenty of time and distance. The right call. Porter Moser, five straight 20 win seasons. Before he came to Loyola, they had one 21 season out of the previous 20. This is what's dangerous if you come and help. He just finds people. Kennedy. Usher. To Alvarado. Now look at Crumble. He corrals the dribbler. So many intelligent things he do. That is deep. Oh, and that is good. How about that kid? Whatever you need, coach. Whatever it takes. That's him. Epitomizes a winner, this kid. Going over the top. He's got Norris rushing, though. Norris back outside with it, Kennedy. What a move. Woo. Again, the big wide body of Crutwick. It takes up space, doesn't it? It sure does. Just curls you with that large backside. Usher almost launched it. Parham from the free throw line. Two more. Five point game with four minutes to go. Well, they are not back at all. This is really terrific basketball right now. A great step and go team with probably. Kennedy. Oh, he traveled. But tie yep. up. They call it a tie up. Good call. Yep. Arrow stays at this end. Got the under four break. The lead was five at halftime. It remains five, even though Georgia Tech is shooting 65% in the second half. They can't get any closer. Amazing. Two solid programs right here. Clemens. What a rebound, Kennedy. And they got a foul start of it. Loyola out rebounding tech plus 11. They are quick to the ball. They're a little bit undersized Georgia Tech. That's part of it. But just the speed the anticipation the read where it's coming off the iron. Going to be a one and one for Marquise Kennedy who a year ago was the Missouri Valley six man of the year when he was a freshman now on his Williamson who another one keeps it for him. Clemens is set up, oh, and he nice. knocks down a three. Well, and we all know how vulnerable you are on a kick out on an offensive rebound. Oh. Big story in the game here, Bill. That's 12 offensive rebounds to none for Georgia Tech. Well, it's a speed thing, and of course a right thing, not being here. I should be quiet lately. Nice help defense. Look at that. Clemens with the dig. Clemens who hit the shot a moment ago. All of his nine points coming in the second half. Ramblers are looking for more. Looking for double digits. As we move inside three minutes. Nice screen. And Norris hits the floor. Alvarado with that little bit of buff. Two hard nosed guards, but uh, the ability to get offensive rebounds, second possessions, and why not kick it out? Get them organized. Put those toes and shoulders squared at a rim and stick it big time. Three threes. Billy in the second half, and here's Norris at the line, one and one. I asked Porter about this kid, as I mentioned earlier, coach's son. Just hard nose, runs it, runs the show, doesn't cough it up. Terrific teammate. And now, Loyola with its largest lead of the game. Bell behind. 
behind three early in the second half. And then turn things around again, but back comes DeVoe. Yeah, but he has really been silenced, hasn't had touches. They got to dig in here, make some stops back to back. A lot of handlers on the floor right now for Loyola. Norris. It big time. Takes it to 11. Again left. The foe heading to the line. Well, oh, just left around it too. Nice counter. The Norris, who got jammed up a little bit here, extricates himself, breaks him down, and goodness gracious, big time delivery at a critical time. The lefty. Big time silence and a lot of touches coming down the stretch. They need him, whether it's the three of the dribble drive. He had nine points really early in this game. That basket gave him 13, make it 14. And Krupwick checks back in with 204 remaining. Little point zone right now out of the John Wooden book. 1 2 1 1. Big on the ball, take away vision. Got a good passer right here, Krautwick. Back over to Krautwick. He sees Clemens is open. Going to use as much of the clock as they can. 15. Now at 10. Norris to Kennedy. In the paint with four, blocked by Usher. Look Kennedy got fight. it back, won the shoot, and it's going to Tech. Well, they got the time out of the run anyhow. Boy, if he had just anticipated, he had a wraparound pass to Krupnik. Porter really has done a great job with this program. Obviously, that little pass there, because he had totally committed to his left, didn't have vision for the big guy. Georgia Tech in the tournament for the first time in 11 years and doesn't want to exit early. Winners of eight straight. Alvarado will step in. And somehow that got away from him. Yeah, trying to do it all. A little dribble drive and find. Who envisioned greatness today? Tune in to Inside March Madness, presented by Buick, and find out. Well, that was a big turnover. It sure was. The okay. welder, as they call him, with the shield, the dentist. Some of his players are calling him that, too. He wanted to be able to wear the shield without a mask. The NCAA would approve it so his team could see the expression on his face. And now he's right there asking the official for a... They got a timeout. E4. Yep. He thought it was a jump ball. Yep. And the tie-up would have given Tech possession. Timeout, though. Loyola, a bait. Breaking the pressure. Smart play. Fox, your friend. Could have given it up to Kennedy. Wise decision. I think a couple of years ago, and you mentioned this earlier, Porter had all those opportunities he did. to leave and loved having his family raised in Chicago. He's a Chicago guy. Boy, has he got this program humming. This is a big time operation. He's checking you. See Usher still rubbing the side of his chin. Just seeing if there's any extracurricular here. Uh, well, I guess a hook and hold they could be looking at. It's unusual to see one out that far. Would you agree? Uh, totally. It's usually around the rim. Uh, I know Gene's looking at this. Let's see if Gene. Uh, sir, looks like a hook and hold. <laughs> Hearing they're also looking that when the ball crossed midcourt, might have been a flying elbow. Ah, that's what they're looking at yeah. right there. Gene, sort it out for us. 
Yeah, guys, I think what they're looking at is when Clemens is crossing half court, as you just showed so well on the replay, the off arm kind of gets off behind him and makes contact with Bubba Parham's face. It draws some blood. The officials don't see that in real time, but when you see that reaction by the player, safety is the best option. You go take a look at that play. To me, it looks like a basketball play, and you just have an arm that gets uh, you know, gets in the way of a defender and uh, accidentally makes that kind of contact. I think we get a great look of it right there on the replay, and that basically explains it pretty well right there to me. Uh, you, you know, Gene, it's amazing. Coach, you said you missed a lot of things when you were <laughs> in your heyday. You don't miss anything now. You know, Graf, the replay, the slow motion, <laughs> giving two or three looks at it. It's amazing how much better that you get when that occurs. Yeah, that's great in, it's great insight for us, though. Thank you. You're the best, Gene. Thank you. One more for Clemens, who's come up big in the second half. Got them both. Now they play three what you would call undersized guys with terrific impact, Loyola. Loyola, one minute away from a second round matchup against Illinois. Look at this defense. What a great job by the big guy. Moving those puppies, containing an amazingly quick Jose Alvarado. Who clock? Look at this. I mean, that is a dynamo guard, and he's able to force him to cough it up and get a chance for his team at the other end. And Norris also. You can't underestimate what he's done defensively. Moser says he's uh, just a pit bull defensively. We saw it there, and he'll shoot another free throw. Uh, two solid guards. He's got the angelic look, and I think a big time motor underneath. Georgia Tech is shooting 60% for the game in his down double digits. How about that? Well, the offensive rebounding part of it. Or, yeah, lack of. Right, yeah. Well, I, I mean, counter. The last team to lose in a tournament game shooting 60% from the field was Georgetown in 08. Well, she really doing what he can to attract some attention, gets to the free throw line. Oh, it gets a little bit of a shot at the end of that play. Georgetown Davidson, I happened to be sitting courtside for that game. It was an incredible performance that day in the D.C. area by Steph Curry. Actually, it might have been Philadelphia. But Steph Curry and that bunch beat him to go to the Sweet 16 and the up one all the way to the Elite Eight up in Detroit. Whatever happened to that? Kid? I don't know, but he beat Gonzaga. He had mounted a big rally in the first game, then beat Georgetown. And I don't know, he had a great college well, career. I remember his dad more than I remember him. Should have been know? a pro, I always thought. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Port Porter's guys has just been so solid after that little shaky be beginning against the matchup. And just trying to stretch the game out with the Nickel dime calls. 39 seconds. And how about if this thing holds up, barring a miracle, to have a matchup of Illinois against Loyola Chicago? Ooh. But that little. And I'm sure over the years they've asked to schedule them and were turned down. Would you think? I would think a few times that request <laughs> has been made. Uh, we saw Illinois, though. What a. Terrific basketball team they have. Red's done such a good job with that. Of course, the team they had to go to overtime to knock out in the Big Ten final, Ohio State, was upset today. That's the biggest headline of all to this point. Oral Roberts of 15 over the second seeded Buckeyes. Look at this, Look at this heat. Rainmaker. And great defense, too. Thought he had stepped down before he released it, but it's going back to Georgia Tech. He blocked two really solid defensive stands the last couple of minutes. You can imagine how hard it is, Bill, for Moses Wright to be watching this in quarantine as, again, he tested positive, the star player of the ACC Player of the Year. They didn't have him today. His absence was huge. 
But Loyola responded to quick starts at the beginning of each half. Sister Jean gets an extended stay in Indianapolis. How about that? Her prayers were answered, you might say. No question. Oh, what a great story. What a great lady. We didn't get to see her this trip, but a couple of years ago we spent some time with her. And why not? So Pass the collection plate. Yeah, it's the first time she's been able to see him play in person this year. That's unbelievable. Well, we know what kind of crazy year this has been. But this is a tough group, great defensively. And the mustache, football mustache, 11 on each side. Yeah, the crustache. <laughs> and he pays homage to a large turnout of the Rambler faithful. What a matchup they have coming up next with Illinois. Well, look at the coach over here. He's having a ball, Porter. Porter Moser. Man, has he built a program. Oh, I'll he say. is incredible. There it is Sunday, Illinois against Loyola Chicago. Whew. I can't wait to see that one myself. Fun day. Probably good company. We're down 10 early. Unfazed. They come back. They know how to win in this tournament. Looking for another fairy tale ride.